Hi guys, welcome back. I've just put on another load of washing so now I can record another video. Yes, if you're wondering, I've still got the same top on. Obviously it's the same day but I won't post these all on YouTube all on the same day because it just takes a while to upload that sort of stuff and I really need to take advantage of natural lighting because yeah, the night lighting is not that crash hot. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I've gone shopping. Yes, I went shopping every day for the for the last 72,000 years and I bought a whole bunch of stuff so if you're not interested um, just click off it's okay uh, I'll start with the boring stuff first um, my chemist was having a sale I'm not sure if it's still going on um, perfumes the first one was the crystal the Vers Versace crystal noir and then euphoria by Calvin Klein um, here are the bottles here so this is a Versace crystal noir gorgeous bottle I love perfume bottles I love the packaging but it's it's wasted on me because I keep my perfumes in the fridge yeah it's not that sexy when you look at them in the fridge but that's where I keep them so they don't spoil the thing is though I do have a holy grail perfume and um, but I couldn't resist these this was one of these was $32 and one was $38 um, 50 mils eau de toilette and I have no idea what this one is is this a uh, eau de parfum uh, 50 mils as well so I, I love this one I can't describe scents you're gonna have to google it and find out but really nice and it's gorgeous gorgeous bottle this one I don't know why I bought it because I did test it it's very um, I want to say sort of ye olde worldy 1980s type perfume so um probably should have bought Lulu actually I might pick up Lulu <laughs> I'll see if it's on still on sale but yeah it sort of reminds me of back in the 80s so that's why I picked up the Euphoria and then I went to Target because Target was having 25% off stuff and I bought three nail polishes from Target this is these are from Essence they're already cheap they're like two dollars and change and so they were 25% off so I got these from the Snow White collection I got Bashful which is a cute green let's see if it focuses Bashful um, Happy which is like an almost like an egg yolk and then I got one of those greyish type colors and this is Sneezy so there you go those three colors there really cute colors so then I went to Priceline because I was on an Essence kick and um, there's possibly going to be either a cough or a burp coming up. Apologies. Just happened. <laughs> and um, they've got a capsule collection at the Priceline because it's not at um, Target with the Essence and it's called the Circus Circus Collection. So that's the circus circus there. I bought two long wear eyeliners. No, not eyeliners, eyeshadows. I bought colors that basically, I don't really have a true gold. So I like the gold on this one. So I thought I'll do that. So I'll swatch these and they're pretty patchy swatches, but that's because how I'm swatching. I've actually worn these and they really last well. I've worn them as bases more than anything else. So I will try them as eyeshadows. And um, yeah, I really like them. The first one is raise the curtain for dot 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 number two and that is that taupey pewdery color there so that's that one there and then the gold one is called because i'm using my magnifying glass it is number one in its magic so that's the gold one there so it's a really nice bright gold um, I don't know if the camera's going to do it justice, but yeah, it's beautiful. Love it. And I purchased some blushes um, from Essence as well. So these are the colours there. There's a pink, an apricot, and sort of a natural tone. I have neutral tone. I have used all of these. The neutral one is called Natural Beauty. The apricot one is called Secret Secret It Girl and the pink one is called Adorable. Really great on your um, cheek and they actually do last a long time. The only complaint I have with them is that they're quite powdery and they quite they kick up Out a lot of, of powder. Three, so it's the pink one, the apricot one and the natural one. I would have to say that one's one of my favourites but I have been wearing all three and I'm really enjoying that. And the packaging's great because it doesn't, you know, when you stack them like this, 
in the drawer. They don't take up too much space as well, so I, I really like that. So I the would last item I picked those. up from the Circus Circus collection was just some. It says nail fashion sticker gel gel style. So I thought they're just stripes and they're clear. So they're the gold stripes and clear background. I thought I'll pick them up. They're about three bucks. So a couple of Bit mascaras because I realised that even though I've got about 2022 mascaras on um, my project pan. I don't have any um, waterproof mascaras left and so I picked up a couple of mascaras. One is a volumizing one called Big and another one that I didn't bring out is a multi something something so I'm supposed to lengthen and volumize and for the price it's actually quite decent and I'll, I'll probably show it in the favorites because I am enjoying that one so I haven't used this one yet I don't need to because I've opened the other waterproof one I just like to have waterproof on hand if it's going to be a really warm day or I don't know if I feel like I'm going to be sweaty then, or I know I keep on saying and then don't know I'm trying to be really quick so if you haven't understood a word I'm saying I'm so sorry um, I had to go to the chemist because I had a medication emergency. I ran out of some stuff and... No, what what happened? No, when I came back from the lighthouse, I was itching like mad and I had to go and buy some antihistamine because, I don't know, I don't know, all the bugs of the world went to Point Hicks and bit me. And um, so I had to go and get some antihistamine, otherwise I couldn't function at work. And I saw some L'Oreal nail polishes for half price. And these are the three here. This is a very pink colour. It actually reminded me of OPI's Mod About You. So I thought I'd pick that one up. And there's a cute lavender. It looks blue in the viewfinder. I'm not sure how it will translate when I load the video. And a cute little um, almost apricot one. The apricot one is called... I do this all the time. Marrakesh Band. Um, the purple one is called Riviera Lavender. And the pink one is called Milkshake in LA. I actually like the L'Oreal ones. I find that they're pretty opaque. They're, you get pr very good coverage for the first coat, but I always do two coats. And I love the brushes. So if you don't like this type of brush, and looks this brush here, you're not going to like it. But I actually really like that sort of brush. So pick them up. And they're a half price, so it's three bucks or something. So I love those. And then I went to Priceline because Priceline, I saw Miss Tango 2's video about the deal where you spend 60 bucks and you get all this free shit. Ooh, sorry, pardon my French. You get all this stuff. So I thought, um, got to do it. And then, of course, Jody from Guru Booty um, got it too. So I thought, ah, I need to be in the gang. I really want to be in the gang. So I went to shopping. So the, I thought, what I want to do is spend $60 but buy stuff that I feel that I'll finish. So I bought six of those, and we all know this is my favorite um, nail polish remover, purely because it was $2.45. If, if there was a better nail polish remover under $5, I'd buy it, but um, I'm not willing to spend any more than that. Um, and so then I bought, um, it's a pre-foundation bronzer face primer from Australis, and I thought this would be good for um, mixing, cutting in with foundations that are, that I feel are too light, that I might want to wear in the summer, but it's more of a winter foundation because it's just lighter on my skin. So that's the colour there. And obviously as I rub it in, it'll disappear more. So I'm looking forward to using that one because I've heard a lot of good things about the Australis primers. So, And I was actually, intent in, initially I intended to get the normal Australis primer, but they were out of stock. And um, I knew that in the beauty bag you get... Um, a free primer so I thought I'll get this one too because I really don't have anything in my collection I have a powder like that. from Rimmel this and Rimmel was 20% off this is just the stay matte in silky beige 005 so again I just wanted something I carry around my um, NARS powder foundation and I don't want to carry it around anymore and I know this this might be prone to coming apart in the um, bag but I thought I'd, if I carried it in a little snap lock bag in my little makeup pouch um, in my handbag and I'll just carry this one it was about ten dollars so I'd rather carry that than a sixty dollar powder foundation and just it's just a powder my nose during the day oh, you know this, here is the mascara this is the essence multi-action waterproof mascara that I was talking about I did bring it out here's the wand so it's just a it's not a plastic wand it's a natural fiber wand but like that really comfortable to wear um, let me just check my lashes aren't too crunchy I've got it on today 
so I do actually like it and I haven't tested whether it's waterproof but it says it's waterproof so I'm going to trust them and I, then I picked up a couple of eyeliners from Rimmel as well these are the scandalized waterproof coal kajals the first one is in bright blue so that's that one there and then I also got I think this one's called nude that YouTube's been going crazy about and I'll swatch them for you the nude one I bought the nude one because I don't like wearing white to my waterline and I know that I usually wear black on my waterline but there are days when I do want to wear just look like I've got nothing on my waterline so I prefer to wear the nude um, I do use the topaz one is it topaz from um, Steeler but yeah I just want to try this one out because this one's long wearing so there you go that's the blue one there and if you can see it the nude ones on the side I like them because they weren't shimmery they weren't um, so they're just a cream formulation I'll be interested to see how this blue one translates to my and water then models mine. prefer was also I think I bought something else from models prefer but I don't know I don't know where it is um, the models prefer infinite shadow pencil um, and I thought I'd pick up these two colors to wear as eyeshadow bases because I don't have that sort of color the first one is the infinite shadow pencil in art of mystery and it's just a beautiful if I can open it hang on hang on hang on yep there we go the first one is just a beautiful navy blue and I just thought about wearing it under um, a blue eyeshadow such as um, Max Deep Truth it could be and then the other one is it's almost like a a bronze olive green that sort of color as well so that's they're just beautiful colors and they've got a nice shimmer to them I actually prefer the pencils I'm thinking now more than pots purely because they don't dry out so the this color is cooled golden mirage so there you go and now it it's if you bought two you got 30% off and I think they retail for about 20 cover girl is having they've got the new nail polishes and I'm loving the um, picture of pink and the nail polish she's got on. She's got a navy and a gold and something else in between. And I'm, I've already got those sorts of colours, so I didn't need it. But I saw these two cream ones that I had to purchase. The beautiful. This is I've got this sort of colour, but not in a cream. So I thought I'd pick this one up. It's beautiful burgundy and then a nice bright blue, which will look awesome on the toes. I'll put if I can find the names I'll put it down below so if you are in Australia price line it's buy one get one free so they're $6.95 for two basically bargain and then quickly 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 you got this awesome tote bag and I actually quite like the tote bag and I think that was the reason why I bought this last I mean every year they have like a skincare bag a hair care bag and a makeup bag I usually resist them and like I didn't buy last year's one I wasn't interested but there were a few items in here so if you are in Australia and you spend $60 on certain brands such as Australis, Nude by Nature, Savvy, uh, Rimmel, Sally Hansen um, and Revlon I didn't realize Revlon was in it too and Revlon you get a whole bunch of stuff for free so you just get a little squidgy thingy I'm going to go through these quickly some press on nails they're always good to have um, a cuticle therapy nourishing um, cuticle oil some face wipe makeup remover wipes by Savvy um, you get a $5 off voucher for BB, the Photo Ready BB Cream from Revlon. Um, you get a volumizing mascara from Bourjois. A brow highlighter from Models Prefer. Which um, I, I got a concealer, I think it is. Hides imperfections and perfects uneven skin tone. So it's a concealer from Australis, from their paparazzi line. Um, instant radiance shimmer touch wake me up I think it's like an illuminating primer or something from Rimmel and I thought this was chocolate but it's not I have no idea oh it's um, a Revlon lip butter in sugar plum I won't swatch it because I'm pretty sure I've got sugar plum but yeah I love my lip butters um, this is what I was interested in is the undercover airbrush mineral primer it's a natural mineral skin primer from nude by nature let's have a look and it's got the little thingy here 
feels a bit, it feels silicony. It has definitely has some sort of fragrance to it. So if you are interested in getting it, I would um, have a look and see if it's um, at all irritating. You, you might, there might be some oils or something in here that you might not like, but I can't wait to use that. I don't even have to look at the, this is Midnight in New York, I think, by Sally Hansen. I've already got this one that's okay I think I already anticipated that I might get it I actually really do love this line and it's sort of black and it's got some nice shimmers in there but yeah I'll give that to my sister I do love that one it's a, it's a nice black because it doesn't look too harsh and then a lipstick by Shio in Flutter and that's the color there I won't swatch it because I've got a few Nashios and I don't know whether I've got it and don't you know don't you hate it when there's a nick in the lipstick and you haven't it hasn't it clearly hasn't been used but um, yeah, so I'm really actually really happy with that. And I'm really excited to use my leopard skin tote because I'm classy like that. Okay, take care guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thank you for your comments. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.